Hi guys and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie. Today we're going to do a walk around video on this 2016 Ford Mustang, a 5 litre V8. Start off at the front, as you can see, the very nice aggressive looking um, style that the Mustangs have. As you can see in the lights as well, they, they've got that real nice aggressive look in the lights as well. Uh, front of the car, that's present in very good condition. Uh, there are a few minor rock chips on the front of the car. Um, we have um, touched them up already though, so you won't have to worry about that. Um, but other than that, the car does present very good condition in the front. We'll come around and we'll stop at our first wheel. As you can see, finishing that nice piano black. Um, no rashing on this wheel at all. It's in absolutely perfect condition. And as you can see, we also got the Brembo brakes as well. Nice big Brembo brakes. Um, obviously for a V8, you want to be stopping very quickly. Um, and good Pirelli tyres on this as well. Good, good tread left in there. As you can see, the 5.0, that stands for the 5 litre V8 that this uh, car does have. Um, and then as you can see, we have color code exterior mirrors and door handles. Uh, the exterior mirrors, the indicator is uh, integrated into the mirror itself and on door handles we also do have the keyless entry and the, uh, and the lock as well. Um, as you can see the doors do present in very good condition. Um, being black you would be able to see things but there's not many, uh, not much things I can see except for a bit of the dust. Uh, we'll come and stop at our second wheel. Again as you can see it does present in just as good condition as the first one. Uh, there is a minor, minor, uh, I would believe it would be a stone chip being the rear wheel um, just on the back there. Um, but other than that, it does present in very, very good condition. And again, on this Pirelli, still good, good, uh, good tread left on those Pirellis as well. Come around to the back. Another iconic part of the Mustang. As you can see, you've got those uh, three tail lights on each side. Um, and when you brake, they do uh, light up nice and bright red in that bit as well. And the indicator is in the same light as the brake light is. Um, as you can see, we also have color-coded exterior mirror. Uh, sorry, color-coded exterior reverse uh, parking sensors as well. And then we've got the nice two exhausts on the back, with that nice again uh, piano black rear diffuser there being the sports car, give you a bit of downforce as well. Um, GT badge in the middle, obviously being the five liter, it is the GT. And then as you can see, we also have the reverse camera just below that. I believe to open the boost just under here. As you can see, we can hear the radio actually in the boot. Um, as you can see, plenty of boot space, even being a Mustang, you still got plenty of boot space in there. And if we take a look under here, as you can see, we just have the uh, inflation kit. As uh, being the Brembo brakes, it does not come with a spare wheel. We'll close that up. Work our way around to the passenger side. Fuel filler cap is on the passenger side as well. That's something worth noting. And stopping at the third wheel, as you can see again, does present just as good as the other two. Um, not a single mark on this one at all. It is a bit dirty, but other than that, not a single mark. Actually, sorry, there's a little tiny, tiny uh, mark here. Other than that, does present in very, very good condition. Again, the tyre uh, is still good uh, life left in that Pirelli as well. Looking at these two doors again, do present in very good condition. Uh, being black again, you would be able to see things. Uh, the only mark is on the mirror itself here. Other than that, it does present in very, very good condition. 5 litre badging on the side again. And then when we stop at our uh, fourth and final wheel, again, even this wheel being the, the one that you park next to the kerb, not a single mark on it at all. So it does present in very, very good condition. Um, and these tyres are just as good as the other four in the car. So what we'll do now guys is we'll uh, pop the bonnet and take a look at the engine of this car, the 5 litre V8. Let's get excited now, talking about the 5 litre V8. Uh, this V8 engine produces 306 kilowatts and 530 newton meters of torque. Uh, this car has a 6 speed automatic gearbox, also has a 61 litre capacity fuel tank. Uh, you will have to run this car on 98 being a performance uh, car and I wouldn't run it on anything else even if it was it could run on 91 being a Mustang. Uh, you're going to average around 12.6 litres every 100 k's which is not too bad for a V8 engine being 5 litres as well and it's going to give you a fuel maximum distance of 718 kilometres out of a full tank. Take a look inside the Mustang now we'll start, off, start you off on the driver's side door as you can see we have all our uh, window controls for the both passenger and the driver and then all our mirror controls as well and we also have a button to fold in the mirrors manually. Um, just above that we have a nice chrome door handle with our central locking just uh, next to that and if we pan across again which you might not be able to see uh, we have all our buttons for our headlights so um, you can just leave it on automatic and that'll do all the work for you. On the right hand stalk here we have um, our high beams and our indicators and on the left hand stalk we also have our wipers. On the steering wheel itself, as you can see again, you have that nice um, picture of the horse, the Mustang. Uh, just to remind you, you're not driving a normal car, you are driving a Mustang. And on the right hand side, we have all our Bluetooth controls and our media controls. And on the left hand side again, a um, couple buttons to just uh, control the cluster in here. 
So your tripometer, your average fuel and uh, those sorts of things and then also your cruise control settings as well. In the middle screen now, um, as you can see, nice bright um, screen here. Uh, this screen actually has uh, satellite navigation, Apple and Android CarPlay, uh, USB, AUX and Bluetooth streaming as well. Um, I will show you the navigation real quick. As you can see, easy to use, very nice display. Also has a reverse camera and when you do turn the wheel, the lines turn as well. And the good thing with this, you can actually zoom in with the camera so it shows you exactly where you're backing up against. Uh, just below that, we have all our hard buttons for our media control. So I'll just put that in park real quick. So all our hard buttons for our media control, um, a button to turn off the stereo, so pretty much to mute it. And then down below that, we have our climate control as well. Uh, this is dual zone climate control. Uh, we also have heated and cooled seats. Uh, and then just below those again, as you can see, we have these nice fancy switches. Um, so one's for your driving mode, one's for the, the handling to make the steering a bit heavier or lighter. Then you've got the traction control button, which you might want to turn off in a car like this. And then your hazard button as well. And then we've got the nice fancy uh, engine stop start button in the red, being a, being a sporty car, red is very sporty. And then just below that, you have a little USB port just under here if you can see that. And then also the brand of the speakers, um, just to let you know that they're giving you quality speakers in this car. And then also a cigarette lighter which would just be for your 12 volt um, socket. Um, as, as I said before, six speed automatic gearbox, uh, your manual handbrake, and then we have two cup holders, two keys with this car as well. Actually, sorry, three keys. Um, there's another ashtray in here, so again, if you do smoke, something for you, but I wouldn't smoke in this car, I wouldn't suggest that. Let's put that back in. And then inside the uh, center console, as you can see, still, still good amount of storage. Um, another USB port and another 12 volt socket. And then also, it even clear, clearly states here that you can put your pens. Um, I'll just get the cameraman just to pan around the interior and show you the quality of this Mustang. Um, being a 2016 with only 6,000 kilometers on it, you wouldn't expect the interior to be any different than the outside, and it presents in very, very good condition. Um, the leather, the carpets for that matter, even the trims, even the plastics, still in very, very good condition. So what we'll do now, guys, is we'll uh, jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. Uh, hopefully that gave you a good representation on the uh, 2016 Ford Mustang in the V8. As you can see, it does present in very good condition being a 2016 with only 6,000 kilometers on it. Uh, if you'd like to book a test drive, uh, give us a call on 9907 This car will also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan, so that's going to give you five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electrical protection, and also 10 years of premium roadside assistance as well. So please, give us a call on 9907 and hopefully you're going to be the one driving away this in this beautiful Mustang. Thank you.